Okay, this is my first time recording with OBS, so excuse me if this comes out kind of bad. I haven't really tinkered much with the settings. So pretty much what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a already made, pretty much just taking the source code out of an already made manual mapping injector provided from guided hacking and using C Sharp Windows Form to pretty much build a little user interface that you can expand on and learn more with C-sharp. Pretty much just inject our DLL process. So this is my little hack DLL, just a few basic things. And we're going to be doing it into CSGO. So as I'm looking at this and thinking about it, this is not exactly a great order, but we can go ahead and get started by just creating our little projects. So we go to File, Project, click on Visual C Sharp, and Windows Form App. Now this is going to be our quote unquote, well, UE. Uh, let's pronounce the crap out of that. that is. Anyways, um, let's give it a name of eh, MM Injector for Manual Mapping Injector. Now you will see this. This is pretty much when we run it, what we're going to see. So if we control F5, voila. So what we want to do is add a button so that when the person clicks the button, it injects the DLL into our game. Simply do that by going over here to project, or sorry, view, toolbox, and damn it. <laughs> may be down here or wherever I don't know depending on if you've ever tinkered this with this, yeah with this before we're just gonna simply do a button so we click and drag a button onto our little design template here and we run it again as you will see I have a button that doesn't do a single thing so if you double click on the button like that you get brought to this little page here now everything inside of this little function is going to run when that button is clicked. So in here, we want to call our DLL. So, first thing that we're going to want to do is just, just like with C++, we have our includes. We have this crap. So, just save time, we're going to copy it and paste it. So we're going to type using, paste it in there. And now we're ready to use DLL import but here's where I was talking about it kind of gets out of order. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually download the source code required. So you can head over here to Guided Hacking. It is under GH Hack Video Tutorials, and you will see Manual Map DLL Injection Tutorial. And this is my Brohan, Brohan, something similar to that. Now we can just go down here, download his source files. Now we need to just add them to our project. So here's our manual map injector project that we just created. Click the name, click the name again. Here's where we want to add it, add the files. So the only two that we want to add in our case, injection.h and injection.cpp. And I just realized I screwed up again. We want to create our C++ DLL first and add them to that project. Sorry. So we're going to create another project. Double click on Visual C++. Go to Windows Desktop and Dynamic Link Library. So here's our injector DLL. So we can just call it, um, I guess, MM. That's way too similar. Uh, Wrap that work. I don't freaking know. Uh, manual map inject DLL. Dot DLL again. Okay, so in here, go to source files, just click DLL main. We're going to have everything underneath of here. So now we can actually add it to our project. 
So we go to our DLL, same name again. You can see here's all of our files. We want to add injection.h and injection.cpp in there. And just for ease of access, I'm going to open up main.cpp just so we can copy it later. So now, starting with the second portion, we want to make our new DLL project already done. And we want to convert to using a multi byte character set. Do that by going to Project, Properties, clicking General. Under Character Set, change it from Set Unic or Use Unicode Character Set to Use Multi Byte Character Set and simply apply. Now we want to make our main function. And normally, you know, it just kind of looks like, you know, in main, then you have your crap inside of it. But in our case, pretty much this is what it looks like with this being pretty much our function name. So as usual, just save time. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And we want to go back to our DLL main, everything in our here. This is essentially going to be our main. So when we call of our DLL, we're calling this function first, and this function is going to take care of everything else without us really having to do much. So what we can go ahead and do, I have already opened it, in our main.cp, I'm going to close that. This is all the code that Brian wrote. So we can go ahead and literally from the top, we're going to copy the include, and we're going to go to where he defines whether or not it's just, we're using 64 or 32-bit. So again, at the top, just paste it in there. And as you saw, he had another function in here. This just returns a boolean. So copy that, paste it above our main function. And now we actually have our main function that we're putting in our, well, main function. So we're just going to copy it. paste it in. Now, a couple of things that you're going to have to change, just common sense, all these returns, just highlight them, remove them. Simply like so. And now you should build, actually we have to include the other two files. So we're going to go to header files, add existing item, and we're going to include his header file, injection.h. Do the exact same thing for source files, except do the .cp file right here. So now, when we build it, it should be good to go. Oh, just because I'm using pre-compiled headers, copy that include, go to injector or injection.main, and just paste it in at the top. So now when we build it, it should be good to go, just like so. That's pretty much that. I'm just going to go ahead and build it as a release. Okay. Now this is essentially done. Period. So well, actually, we are going to have to change these here in a second, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So back to our which this one, and back up the list. All right, we're going to use DLL import to, well, literally import our DLL. So we do that right here. Under, I believe in C sharp, this is a myth. This is still a class. Duh. So, how you can do this is opening square bracket, the LL import, opening parenthesis, and we need the name. So, this is going to be the DLL's name, which is. Really? I'm going to go ahead and type the name mm inject DLL. Put that in quotes. Dot. DLL. I go to the end of the line, press enter with no semicolon. Now we're, I don't know if this would be considered prototyping or what in this case, but we public static extern void since our function is a, doesn't return anything. Well, do do here. Then our function name, which is main function. So my or sorry, main function, and press a semicolon. Now all we have to do to call that function 
just call it like we normally would, but main function, and put a semicolon. We can go ahead and build our project real quick, just make sure everything goes fi just fine. So essentially, this one, this one, this one, alright. So whenever we press button one, going to, as usual, of error at the moment because we haven't done it properly and we haven't included the DLL in here but when we press that it's going to load our DLL that we just made set up a prototype and then we're going to call the function when the button is pressed so we can go ahead and bring our DLL over there so we just go to release see the DLL copy go back here the location of the executable and paste our DLL in there. So the only things remember I said we had to change some things this up at the top since this is set up to pretty much it's not going to be well you can't set where you want it at the moment you can do that later on your own time but as you know usually for the executable it's csgo.exe now we need the path for our little DLL here that we want to inject into the game. We can simply get that by going just straight to our desktop path. Or you can just copy this in the description. As you can see, there's our path to the desktop. So we're going to take that, control C, and then control V it in there. Now you have to take these single uh, backslashes and set them with doubles. So just add one more to each portion. At the very end, we're going to do pretty much the name of our DLL. In our case, it's mydf.dll. Back to our stuff. So now we can go ahead and build it. Now that it knows where everything's going to be, we can grab our DLL. Well, our new one and put it right here with our executable go ahead and replace it and hopefully assuming I didn't screw up somewhere this should actually work when we get in game so as usual I just run it with secure for whatever I'm testing then at the main menu just to really be kind of on the safe side just do SV, IN, space, 1. We can go ahead and start up a botch, yeah, a bot match. It's going to do it on leak, and I did not inject it first, but that shouldn't be a problem. But generally, you're going to want to inject at the main menu. Alright, so let's go to our folder, find the executable, run it as administrator, and click. Now button one is pressed, so if I go over here, we are good to go. hotkeys, as you can see, it is working just as intended. I can toggle everything on and Bravo off, Charlie spotted. like normal. Still have one out there. Spot. What are you doing? Okay. But all in all, that's essentially all there really is to it. Nice work, people. And if you want, you can take it a step farther. Pretty much, literally, well, this isn't a C-sharp tutorial, but you can customize your GUI to be however you want. Very simple to do in Visual Studio with Windows Form. So now we can quickly reiterate on everything we just did. So skip this if you don't want to hear boring. Okay, so in our C Sharp project, we included our, well, whatever we need to use this function. So we're going to import our DLL with the name of our DLL. We're going to give a prototype to our function. Then on our button press, we're going to call that function. Now the only thing we did, actually we literally didn't do anything really. 
the actual code since that's all done for us thanks to him. Then once we do that, simply set our set it to the game we want to and the path to the DLL we want. Then we build it so we do get an actual DLL. We paste it in here with our executable. Then whenever we run our executable, what we do, click a button. And it does everything for us. That's just because that only came out because of the error checking inside of his code. So, anyways, it's as simple as that.